I, I like the uh, um, almost an adventure of driving them, I guess, is for want of a better word. I mean, uh, you know, my cars have always sort of traditionally been fairly low budget vehicles, and, and um, you know, there's been certainly been many a rod runs where I've, I've been coming home with driving through a piece of string through the firewall because a, a cable's broken off or bits of number eight fencing wire holding the exhaust pipes up and, and things like that. So it's 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 um, certainly an adventure. Yeah, it's sort of in your blood. I mean, I, I've been doing it since I was 15 years old and uh, have always had a car or two you know, around me. So um, once you've got it, it's in your system, you know, and um, there's no greater feeling than cruising off to an event with all your mates and having that stream of cars and, and, and going off to an event, yeah, it's great. At the end of the day, it's about friends, do, you know, hanging out together and enjoying ourselves. I mean, that's how we formed. Really, was was standing around the bonnet of a car while one of the cars was being built up and, and having a few bourbons and, and talking some rubbish. Friendship was definitely there first, um, and as you said, we've known each other, some of us, 30 years. Uh, the friendship um, is a big part of it, and I guess the um, cars is the uh, is a common interest, you know. Walls are uh, a bunch of friends and I guess the, the idea of the walls was conceived probably eight, nine years ago now, talking about what they like in hot rodding or what we're going to do with our cars we had building at the time and um, we really like the grassroots style. More of the 50s and 60s um, hot rodding and the way it was done back then, so yeah, just, just mates getting together, having a good time. <laughs> That's more about uh, having a good time than anything else I guess. We haven't got any rules, or we have, but they're not really rules. And that's what we were looking for. We were looking for a club that was loose and uh, no great demands on people. And once a year we get together. like the, the way they used to build them and uh, the hot rods of the 40s and 50s and 60s, the uh, 50s customs and 60s customs and that. It's more about the, the way the cars are done I suppose than, than the actual year of the car. So I like to keep them as you see them here, you know, sort of ready to go. They're drivers, they're not, not things we put in show cabinets. Back in the days where you inherited your mother's car, which might have been a 1940 or 1950 car, and it was a basic home-built hot rod, you know. I wanted to make it traditional and um, and like how how they were in in uh, built in the 1960s, because there wasn't the gear around, there wasn't speed shops, there wasn't guys making and manufacturing stuff. We try and really keep everything um, to the car as much as we can. Really keep the basic, uh, no digital stuff, no no mag wheels. We're not against the the bling shiny stuff, but uh, it's not us, we just like the, the older style, traditional cars and hot rods. What's around the shed, um, what you can scrounge off your mates, what have they got lying around the shed, you know. Um, I enjoy that aspect of it probably more than anything, is um, coming up with ideas to um, make your car not different from anyone else's, but give your personalised touch to it, yeah. In the early days we did, I did in 1959 I started, in, and I helped my cousins build hot rods as well and, and only hung it. There was a big gap in my life where we had building a house and having a family and stuff like that. And now, when I could a few years ago, I built the hot rod, I thought, well, I've got to do that because I've got all the parts and I can do it and I've got a bit of money to spend on it, so, and that's what happened. And a lot of people do that in their life. A friend of mine is a hot rodder, a um, guy named Gary Martin Grease. Um, he told me when I was a teenager, you know, that um, if you're going to build a hot rod, you've got to know you're driving it. 
you know, straight axles, drum brakes, things like that. And um, I've really stuck to that. And uh, I like to run along the road and hear the noise and the rattles and the bangs and, you know, put your foot on the brake and they don't work. You, know. you hop in the 51 Oldsmobile and you're doing 100 kilometres along, an hour along the road on drum brakes with the original steering, you know you're doing 100 kilometres an hour along the road and it's, it's um, yeah, so it's, it's an enjoyment, you know, it's good fun. No one's the boss, there's no one going to say, hey, we're doing it this way. There's no real ranking as such, I, I guess. Um, everybody chips in and, and gets involved when, when things need to be done, so we don't follow a, a particularly tight structure or anything. Um, we have a, a constitution that we drew up, and when you read the constitution, you'll see that that's, that's also done in a very light-hearted, um, too many drinks sort of way as well. So You know, one of the biggest rules is if there's more than two of us together, even if it's on the phone, you've got a beer in your hand, and that's counted as a meeting, you know. Um, but that was one of the one of the things when we started this. We don't want rules, and uh, we don't want to be governed by somebody and things. We just want to be a group of mates enjoying the same thing. Um, we don't pay club fees and things like that unless we need some money. If we're short for the rumble, we'll pay a fee. Otherwise, there's no subs. There's nothing like that. We just uh, keep it as a bunch of guys, a bunch of friends having fun, you know. Um, we don't want any of the, the bullshit, for want of a better word. We don't want any of that. The, the hot rods are, are a way of, of having a blowout in the weekend and enjoying ourselves and, and unwinding. Um, to leave your busy work schedule, and we all we all work pretty high stress jobs, and then to come home to to something that you enjoy that turns out to be a political nightmare. You, you don't want that. To us, it's about people in the cars and at foremost, and um, politics, as far as I'm concerned, should have nothing to do with hot rodding. Classic Cover Insurance, agreed value means agreed value. No fish hooks. There's a lot of reasons why your hot rod or classic should be insured with Classic Cover. To find out more, jump onto our website and see for yourself. Hey man, I don't care if you can't dig what I'm saying. Cause I'm halfway to hills. There's no prizes. It's just a fun day out and uh, have a few beers and talk some bullshit and things like that. You know? It's just a laid back. A lot of guys treat it as the opening of the of the car show type season because it's fairly early, which is why we usually get the bad weather. But um, it's just us laying back. We've always said from day one, from the concept of it, that if it just ends up being three or four of the, the guys from the Royals sitting around a jelly bin having a few drinks and a laugh. I mean, that's we're happy with that. So it's always wanted us to be laid back. I mean, there's only a handful of us, so we don't want it to end up to being some big national show where it takes up half our life to organise. We're not there to make any money or um, to promote the Royals or anything like that. It's just, hey, let's, let's get together and enjoy our cars and enjoy the group of people that turn up. I've got nothing against beach shop and things like that. I've been in it, it's a fantastic event. Um, but you tend to get these small groups of different types of people and that. Whereas uh, things are smaller events, um, everyone seems to be together, you know. Um, and it's a, it's a lot more personal, a lot more friendly, and a lot more fun, you know. And it's not um, a lot of people trying to outdo each other for the size of their checkbook, maybe, you know. We play it as pre-63, pre which um, that's sort of the area we want to stay at. Um, we want to, as, as you see from our cars, we want to stay with that, that old school look. We try to avoid big digital dashboards and fancy wheels and things like that, you know. Yeah, there's a, there are a couple of funny stories about that, but um, 
some we can't go into too much, but uh, it's, it's, you certainly meet a lot of, lot of personalities at the gate. Um, people who get very upset if they're not allowed to park in the, in the main display area, you know, they've got to, they want to stay with their friends who happen to be in a car that we think fits in the criteria of our show, which we like to keep the, what the criteria is, keep it in the centre of the, of the show so that for photos and things like that it all looks like it's supposed to. We certainly had one year where we had somebody protesting about that and um, very much protesting about a gold coin donation to get in the door, which just covers our insurances and stuff. And and, um, and then that particular year, the the, the uh, show turned up in the New Zealand Rodder and, and uh, the car was the cover shot. And he was the one that caused us all the grief at the gate and he ended up being the cover shot on the of the of the whole show. So. Car painter and a, and a um, I, d I can do a lot of electrical stuff because of my um, electronics background. So I do all the electrical wiring in my own car and a few of the other guys' cars and that sort of stuff. And uh, I think the only thing we really need is probably an upholsterer. So if there's any out there, let us give us a call. <laughs> if it stays the way it is, we'd all be quite happy. I think um, if we have a few extra members along the line, yeah, um, that's great as well. But. Um, the group of people we have, we, we choose very carefully, I suppose, who comes into the club and we're not looking at their spend by, by any means. It's supposed to be a hobby, you know, you're supposed to be doing it because you enjoy it, not, um, it's not a business trying to make money and uh, run things a certain way, we're just a bunch of guys having, a bunch of mates having some fun. Um, and we want to keep it as close to that as we can. So we start getting away from that, we're, uh, you know, things start getting a little bit painful, you know, you might as well go to work. <laughs>